Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video a series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for the third collaborative capsule between Naomi Glasses and Polo Ralph Lauren. Well, I hope it's Naomi. I oh, well, I think it's Naomi. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> it's spelled just a little bit different from uh, how I've seen it spelled in the past. So I'm hoping it's the same name that I think it is there. But yeah, I've I've been following her collections with Polo Ralph Lauren for a while now, and I have bookmarked after article covering the first collection the second collection but i just never found the time to do a video on it and then it released and i was like ah it's too late now i can't talk about it about it now it's the latest news you know but i still want to talk about the first two collections because i loved the first two collections but now they have collaborated once again to do a third collection and i thought you know what this one released in August. It's still August. It's not too late. I want to talk about it. <laughs> um, and that's what I want to do today. I just want to highlight, talk about, praise uh, this third collection and the lookbook for that collection as there's just so many fantastic pieces that I'm seeing in this lookbook that I really just want to share with you guys and talk about. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, we'll be using a Hypebeast article to cover the lookbook as it's all embedded in there. Uh, let's head on over to the lookbook now and check out this collection between Naomi Glasses and Polo Ralph Lauren and see what they came up with. So here we are at the lookbook guys and the capsule is technically called the Denim Daydream Collection. So if we want to differentiate between just first, second, and third capsule, this one actually has a name for it. I'm probably sure that the previous two have names for them as well, but just can't recall what they're called realistically. I just remember them as the first and second collection. But um, from my knowledge as well, this is Naomi. Um, from at least what I gather from looking at, you know, her Instagram and then looking at this collection here, I think this is her. And we've got some fantastic jewelry. I love the jewelry and the accessories. The belt is fantastic as well. Uh, alongside this awesome print shirt featuring in the collection. I really want a belt with these beautiful designs in the leather and then a huge Native American belt buckle here. But Every single time I go looking for them, they sell out. So if you guys have any recommendations on someone who sells like a size 42 or a size 44 belt with those kind of details, send it to me on Instagram because I need one. <laughs> and I need the jewelry as well. I mean, that is a lot of beautiful, beautiful stones there. Mine, I buy them from First Arrows and they don't have uh, as anywhere near as much uh, stones in them as, as the jewelry here but i love it it looks fantastic and you know i've got a little bit of turquoise in mine that's a lot more but i do love it it does look fantastic the print on the shirt looks great um and that is a hectic necklace but i love it i love it i i don't know what pieces specifically are part of the collection but i assume at least the pants belt and shirt would be a part of the collection we've got I love the hat as well. The hat with not a conventional teardrop shape, but very much a dome kind of shape, featuring an awesome design traveling all the way around it. Some lovely jewelry along the side. The earrings are fantastic. And this beautiful weaved design and print on what I'm gonna be assuming is a poncho, but hard to tell when the photo is so zoomed in. It could just be a very intense big scarf, but guess we'd have to see other images to kind of get an idea of where we're going with this okay so here we are here's the design featuring again it looks more like a poncho it look oh, or maybe it's more like a blanket because it is kind of like thrown over the shoulder there regardless of what it technically is silhouette wise the colors look fantastic i love the design if that's 100 percent wool that's going to keep you nice and toasty 
um, you would only ever need to wear jeans and a shirt and this over the top of it to keep you warm in the colder seasons because a wool blanket like this, you'll be pretty set. But what I really like about this lookbook is the level of detail all the way down to the accessories because yes, obviously the print on this uh, blanket is a big hitting point and obviously the designs down the arms here on this button-up shirt fantastic as well the lookbook keeps coming in with those subtle details that really brings it all together like the all the buckles on this belt really worn out denim down below um, it all just works so seamlessly and so well together I really love it it creates this awesome aesthetic and this awesome outfit that I really love because I really love that Native American look. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I love imitations or reimaginations of that same look, but when you see it all encapsulated together, it feels very American. I really love it. And yeah, it's just, it always hits me. Um, we've got what looks to be like an overcoat done in the awesome all over print design that we've seen so far. Um, I love it. The gloves, the jewelry, the pants, um, single pleat, but very, very big. Look how big those pants are. I love it. Big pants, fantastic. <laughs> uh, really simple shirt, but highlighted with really nice white detailing on it. It looks fantastic. We've got another shot here with a hat. I think the hat does kind of bring it all together, but I do really like that overcoat and I hope it comes in men's sizing because um, yeah, I would love to own something like this. It'd be fantastic. I'd say that while wearing like the most dull outfits in the video, but <laughs> if, if I had the opportunity and the money, absolutely. I love this. This collection is fantastic so far. Uh, we've got pants featuring an extra panel, I think made out of leather, probably to provide it some extra sturdiness and whatnot, but it also adds some authenticity and gives that kind of like American cowboy feel to it. Um, huge belt buckle, really nice, I guess, overshirt here in that regard, or jacket. Um, it's nice. It's a nice piece. We've got some caps being done, featuring little designs here and there. Uh, what looks to be a varsity jacket, just, just going off the wool design on the chest here and the collar. It looks like a varsity jacket. I'm a sucker for varsity jackets, so if I see a varsity jacket, I'm in. <laughs> but I want to see if that's the case or not. Uh, it looks like a fantastic button-up shirt as well, where the buttons are not conventional buttons, but done in like silver, uh, I guess, designs. Love that. I love it when it's a little bit more personal and we don't just use generic buttons. It's the little details that matter. And, so, and stuff like this, yes, absolutely. Looks like we've got some uh, very intense boots as well. Um, I'm unsure if you'd call them duck boots or what the technical silhouette is. Let me know in the comment section below if you're you know, more technically knowledgeable on that kind of thing. But we see the button detailing making a reappearance here, that uh, all over design featuring on a panel here. It's very well integrated into the boots because I, I can't think of realistically how you would apply such bold awesome and like really intense blue coloring onto shoes to match the rest of the collection but i think it's done quite tastefully here where it still flows very well in the collection i'd be interested to see if they did any other shoes or any other silhouettes for the collection we got the jeans very very thin coming down to the knee but then it absolutely it like shoots out and covers those boots which i love i think that's fantastic uh, we've then got the belt featuring all the buckles as well. A velvet or oh, maybe a velour um, shirt featuring heaps and heaps of beaded necklaces, which I love that look. That look of like excessive, large, large amounts of necklaces, beaded necklaces. I think it's a fantastic look. So seeing that, it's awesome. But again, it all flows very well together. I think it, it just works very well and I like the little details on the jeans like these crosses here they're placed very well the sizing on them is really nice I hope these jeans come in a men's sizing because yeah I'd really love something like this again another zoomed in shot of what we just saw before 
love the custom button detailing, the necklaces, appropriate, fantastic, and the jewelry, amazing, amazing. I'd love to go to the United States just to go to flea markets and see this stuff and see artists do it all because I just love it. Like, it's just awesome. I really want to see this cardigan on. Like, I get the dress, the blue dress, the really intense blue is the main focal point here. Love the use of the same belt over the waist, though. Looks awesome over the top of that dress. But I really want to see that cardigan that's, like, hanging down by her arms because I just want to see how it looks. <laughs> Maybe I'll, they'll get to it soon. Maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. But I do really want to see it. Um, love beaded necklace, though. Fantastic. Fantastic. Ah. Oh. I would just geek out so much if I saw this in real life and saw it in the flea markets and stuff like that. Like, I get it. This is a very um, grand, uh, I guess, high market collaboration here. But I want to see the authentic stuff in the streets, in the markets and things like that. Like that kind of that would just be fantastic. But anyway, back to this. Love the bracelets. Want to see the cardigan. Do I get to see the cardigan next? No, I don't. Ah, oh. <laughs> I really I was, I was banking on the next image being that. <laughs> um, we've got another look, another jacket. Love the custom button detailing over here. I'm going to keep saying it. The jewelry is fantastic. Awesome turtleneck. I love thicker turtlenecks and ones that go quite high up because I don't know about you guys, but I see mock necks trying to be turtlenecks. And like you don't go high enough you need you need to be higher up before i can call you a turtleneck but that's just my thoughts i think we've hit the mark here though uh love the button detail uh so i should say belt detailing here it looks awesome i want one myself um we've got some further detailing here where we've got like a suede jacket and a shirt with some white detailing to it i think this is really cool as well and the jacket with its suede detailing looks really fantastic. I love the subtle like embroidery or I should say stitching. More, more specifically stitching down the sides of this panel here, down here, uh, giving us a little, I forgot the name of it, but the, I guess, panel that comes down makes me feel like this is very much a cowboy jacket, an American jacket. Uh, features those crosses across the shoulder, which I really like as well. The stitching goes across the pocket here. It's the little things, right? Like realistically, um, if we had to stay true to using this deep blue as much as possible, they've done it in a tasteful way where the little detailings here really allow it to shine, considering we have to restrict ourselves primarily to this color, but it looks fantastic. Again, loving the jewelry, uh, loving the belt detailing, but the pieces of clothing are also fantastic as well. It creates an awesome look. We've got a vest, a wool vest. I like that we've gone with more organic materials than like a polyester vest and stuff like that, like a lot of puffer vests use. So it's nice to see this detailing, but then also this very American uh, panel across the top of the shoulders. It's done very well. Love wide brimmed hats as well. I've got a lot of them. You guys have seen me uh, show a lot of them on the channel. I'm a huge fan. Uh, the jewelry is fantastic. All the other details are amazing. Love the design on the wool. I'm hoping to see that varsity jacket that we saw at some point, but that's okay. We've got a cardigan uh, featuring the designs that we've seen throughout the collection. Those awesome blues uh, over the top of a chambray shirt with I just noticed mainly the silver detailing on the top button, but it looks like some custom buttons throughout. I'd love to see that detailing on all the buttons though. It might be excessive, but I'm absolutely here for it, even if it is excessive. <laughs> uh, the jewelry, awesome. I love this blend of like red to blue and how it all kind of interconnects with a little bit of white at the bottom. It's just so awesome. And I just love that it's like big in your face. They are, and that's what I really love about the jewelry, that it's really present, because I really hate it when jewelry is kind of like in the background of an outfit and it's just like the little pieces here and there. I love big in your face jewelry, and this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. I think it just looks really awesome. But uh, yeah, I love the cardigan. I want the cardigan, the jeans and the chambray shirt. I want the whole outfit. The whole outfit is awesome. 
then got another shot of the same suede jacket that we talked about before another chambray shirt a bolo tie which is really awesome to see um and some nice boots and jeans there i like the bolo tie with the leather being uh braided all the way to some silver detailing down the bottom it's intense it's big i love it yeah awesome accessory to have on an outfit and i really like it uh on chambray shirts i think it just works so naturally with it yeah awesome stuff Here's another close-up shot of the detailing. It looks like instead of stitching, I was incorrect on that call. It looks like suede strips weaved through the piece. And I think that's awesome. It, uh, that's a really cool approach to it. I took it as stitching, but it's actually suede strips wo uh, woven through the piece. It's awesome, right? Or I should say probably leather strips. Leather strips weaved through the suede. But... It'd be, it'd be an intense piece, quite a heavy piece, but I want it. <laughs> it's sweet. Here's a shot of all the pieces kind of thrown on top of a saddle and everything. It feels very appropriate for the collection and stuff like that. So that's done very nicely. I also just want to take note to this, like, I guess, wash on the jacket. So intense, so intense. Uh, we've got a kind of like a chambray shirt maybe jacket borderline jacket kind of hard to determine here uh belt wrapped around the waist love the design on it though it's it's so awesome to see this all over print i'm 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 here for it and then we get to see some more i guess behind the scenes shots of seeing how it all kind of came together I didn't actually notice many bandanas in the collection. Maybe I just completely overlooked them. They were probably used as like ties and stuff like that, which I really love doing these days. I really love collecting bandanas on, you know, places that I travel to and then using them as ties. I think it's just, it's a really natural and awesome way to do it. I just need to wear more chambray shirts and then it would flow really naturally in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I really like this behind the scenes shot of like sketches of how the outfit would look and then the material choice being chosen and just more sketches here more designs i'm really i'm surprised we didn't get to see some of these but maybe those are being saved for later collections but we can see different color um choices being chosen here with the materials and stuff like that it's it's i love seeing behind the scenes stuff for that but those are the last two images that kind of cap off the collection um and how do i feel about the lookbook look it was fun it felt very authentic i really like the colors the accessories the styling i think i really like ralph lauren um lookbooks because the styling always feels very like to the brand american i just love it. it it feels fantastic i wish i could have seen some of the pieces that we didn't actually get to see in the lookbook though i'm more specifically talking about like this I want to see this varsity jacket, <laughs> but that's because I love varsity jackets. Um, yeah, and I really wanted to see where's the, I wanted to see this cardigan. I, I'm unsure if this is the same one a couple images later, where the, I don't think this is the same one because this is really deep blue. Whilst if we go back to this one, I don't know, I don't know. If it is the same one, fantastic, I'm glad we saw it. But if there's not the same one, I want to see that one as well. But uh, yeah, I just had a lot of fun going through these images in the lookbook today. I love the styling, I love the accessories, I love the colors, I love the prints. There's not much that I don't love here. <laughs> if I could wear this whole collection, I would wear this whole collection, but yeah. And that's why I wanted to cover it with you guys today. I wanted to express how I felt about it and to go with it, uh, go through it with you today. It was just so much fun. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the denim daydream capsule between Naomi Glasses and uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in that comment section below. And yeah, that's the collection covered. Uh, well, at least the lookbook. The collection is a lot more extensive, I assume, because we saw teasers of pieces that we didn't see in full, but 
if you want, I can try and find all the individual pieces and we can cover that individually, but that's up to you. <laughs> I would love to own a lot of the pieces from this collection, but it being in collaboration with Polo Ralph Lauren, it's probably going to cost a lot. So I'll have to stick to buying my secondhand clothes and seeing what I can do. <laughs> but I'd love to hear if you actually picked up anything from the collection. You know, what pieces really spoke to you? What did you buy? Um, a lot of the outerwear I could absolutely pick up and buy. I really love the detailed printed chambray shirts. I think that they just add so much flair and fun to outfits that you could definitely create. And the accessories, so good, so, so good. Um, and I think that's everything I have to add. But let me know if you did pick up something from this collection in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Polo Ralph Lauren collaborations, maybe you want me to go back and cover the previous collections, you just got to let me know by giving me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in previous uploads, I'm trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,875 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach it before the end of August. I think that's everything I have to say about the collection, guys. I'm really keen to see future collaborative collections. Hopefully we can see more like a part four releasing at some point in the future. I'll definitely cover that if you guys want me to, or go back and cover the first two collections. I can definitely go either way. But until the next Naomi Glasses video, until the next Ralph Lauren video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.